Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again and delaying the deleted streak a little bit here because we're definitely going to get back to it, but I'm enjoying playing some stuff. We're going to play it as Apollyon here. Um, give him a good little go. Where the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Give him a go. Try him out. I haven't played Apollyon in a little while and um, he's decent. Oh, we started off with a... Oh, I was about to say Trinket. We've got Blessing of Fortitude. For the question of the day today, kind of an interesting one, but more of a basic one than we've been getting recently, just because I thought of it before I started. What's your best Isaac streak? And if you're not very good at Isaac, what's your best, like, win streak in a game in general? Uh, it'd be interesting to know. I'm just going to see what the Blessing of Fortitude actually does, because I don't remember. Um, Blessing of Fortitude. Gives the wafer effect for the first hit each floor. It's decent. It's not super powerful, but it's decent. But yeah, this guy's going to be pretty good, especially if we can get ourselves into that library. Um, is, is this the one that fires out the ghost the try shots? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Yeah, and I still get hit by it. Solid. Solid. It's very, very easy to dodge, so I have really no right to be getting hit by it. Honestly, why don't I just do this? There you go. Easy. Okay. But yeah, um, basically, because as of late... I have been playing very poorly. Interesting room. Okay, this is a room just for the ghosts, I guess. Um, as of lately, I've been playing very, very poorly, as people probably already know and have witnessed. Perfect room for this. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't know what voiding that one will do. Um, I should try... I should try and get how to jump first. I should try and get how to jump first. Also, how to jump's actually good now. It got buffed by the balance mod. It can let you into care rooms for free. So, I might want to try and get it for that reason also. But yeah, we have the wafer here. Look, pretty, pretty useful. Blessings are, are pretty rare, but they can be kind of useful. Some of them are okay. Some of them are just meh. Some of them are really good, um, but... I've tweaked the rarity accordingly, so we shouldn't be getting any really overpowered um, setups with those blessings. But yeah, like, I've been playing really bad recently, and I just kind of want to focus on getting better at the game. Obviously, getting hit off the bat there was not um, not really in, a, in accordance with that. But yeah, so I, I want to try and focus up, and I just want to kind of, like, think about... We're getting some good stuff here. Um, this is tricky, because I want that, but... I know that I'm not going to have another six rooms on this floor. So it, it kind of means I can't have it. It's it's a shame. It's a shame. But having all those actives... Ooh, that was pretty bad. I like the way that we make a stone sound now when we get hit. That's nice. That's a nice touch. I also hate this gluttony room because he's going to give me the HP. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. I feel a little better when he doesn't give me the uh, the HP up. I always feel, like, a bit abused <laughs> when he gives me the HP up. Okay, slightly concerning here. I don't think I need to worry about these sack things. They take a while to, um, pupate. It's probably the best way to put it. The cocoons. Okay, this one's going to pupate now. But it only spews out one of these guys, which, honestly, as you can see, really isn't a big issue. But and but. Got him. Okay, so here's our other key. So now we go and we get how to jump. And we use that to get in and out of our cash room also. Is what I'm thinking. So come over here. We grab this. We use this to pick up all of the books to get bookworm. We also use it to pick up this book to write a story. Okay, I need to uh, I need to use it as soon as I get it. Um, I want to read a long story that's violent. That's that's violent. Um, and has profitable a profitable twist. Right. Where the fuck's how to jump gone? <laughs> Excuse. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, game. Where the fuck's the jump gun? Um, 
Oh, what have I done? <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, let me just um, give... What's it called? Um, Tran... C20. Right, let me just give C20. Fly over here. Remove C20. And... Um, I want to I wanna spawn how to jump on the floor. I don't really know how to do that. Um, one second, one second. Okay, I fixed my soft lock disaster. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, I guess. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Right, anyways, now, using it gives you a very short amount of iframes, as you can see. So we can go, boom, and get into here. Very nice. Didn't actually award us with anything very useful, albeit, but still. It gave us a key. That's, that's useful enough. Very nice. Anyways, let's go through here. Let's pick this back up. And let's void it all. Good, good, good. Okay. We're good to go. We're hot to trot. Okay. I would like to get the, the pony, but I, um, whatever it's called, my little unicorn. But I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to, honestly. But yeah, I think my highest win streak... Oh, I, I kind of wish I'd have kept uh, how to jump around now. Um... Also, humbling bundle there. It's kind of nice. Got a lot of good stuff here that I like. Wish I could have opened that chest and been a little smarter about it. God damn, I could have I could have had plum flute in there as well. At least we got bookworm on the first floor. That's that's always nice. I can't believe I managed to soft lock myself like that though. One idiot. I think what what had happened is um, I'd picked up the book to write it, opened the menu to start writing it, and then I picked up how to jump again and thus me completing writing the book spawned the the new version in my inventory overwriting the how to jump that was already in my inventory um so a little bit wacky not not exactly how that was meant to go but it is it is but I, yeah i just generally want to try and start playing better i want to try and get a win streak going i want to try and just just not be an absolute goober at the game squeezy is a good way to start i like it I love it. I want some more of it. We're going to go normal path here, I think. I don't know what I've got left to do on normal path. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, we've got dark path to do. We could go do dark path. But yeah, if I'd have kept how to jump, I could have used it to get into care rooms. It's a nice little buff to it. That's a bad hit off the bat there. That's, it's a fine hit. I don't really mind it while we've got this many soul hearts. It's just not one I should be taking, really. We do have a cellar now, so we're going to have some hive enemies, which are always... A little bit difficult for me. I love these little ghosts. They're a little tricky to deal with. <laughs> Just the little... Eh, eh, oof. I love it. But yeah, I think my highest win streak is like a 29 or something like that. I did get my highest win streak on camera. It was a win streak that I got in a video. So I do have proof of it. Um... But it, it has been quite some time. I'm not particularly a person that, that really goes for streaks very much. I'm not I'm not really a person that cares all that much, as you've probably been able to tell by watching the series for as long as you guys have been. Um, that's not something that I majorly care about. Um, but I would just like to generally try and put out a little bit of a higher standard of gameplay than I have been recently, because it's been pretty bad. <laughs> Which I don't think makes the videos any less entertaining. It's just for my own personal, like... Being able to prove to myself that I'm good enough to be able to get them, it would be, would be just da just dandy for me. It'd be just dandy. Hemolacria is fucking awesome. I love Hemolacria, especially mixing in some bookworm into there. I uh, bookworm, yeah, bookworm. That's what I meant to say. Fucking crash the game. <laughs> Okay, we are back, and unfortunately, I bricked Void. <laughs> it just crashes the game immediately now. Also, I took damage then. What the hell, game? What the hell is this shit? So I'm just going to go with how to jump for now. I took damage again! Okay, I just didn't line it up right. But that was <laughs> the whole point of me taking how to jump, and I've ruined it. Anyways, we're playing back through this floor again. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Sadly, 
game don't like me. But anyways, as I was saying, I want to try and get a little win streak going. I love these enemies, but could you, like, get into a position where I can actually fight you? That'd be really nice. That guy almost hit me, but not quite. Not quite going to let that one happen. Right, take out the little jumpers first. And then easily crush all of these three. I don't know how many enemies these can hatch into. I've seen a few different ones, but I don't know how many's in the count there. Okay, here's that item room again. Careful of this room. This one was a little bit treacherous last time. Mainly just the spiders and uh, spiders. Mainly just the flies that, that, that can get me. Everything else is pretty chill. It's just taking out these things before they absolutely take over. Like, you don't want that many white spiders running around that you can't hit anything, because that happens kind of a lot with those guys. Ooh, this time we got a, a new heart. This costs a key, but it uh, gives us a little soul buddy. Nice. I haven't seen one of these guys in one of these um, soul buddy dudes in quite some time. But yeah, we got Hemolacria now. Good stuff. We are going to just use how to jump. We're not going to use um, the, uh, the void anymore. Sadly, that does kind of kill off the entire point of the character. I could just give myself a fresh void. I guess. Maybe I'll just do that after this floor. But then I could have had the pony in it and other books. I think it was just the, the write your own book that broke it. That's what I'd imagine broke it at least. If it was in... If it was what I imagine. What? 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 Right. Um. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will. This is probably secret room, right? Hazard. Ooh, that's all the cards. Moon, Hermit, Fool, Empress, Stars. Okay, they're all just teleport cards. I think I'm just going to take the stars to save myself a key next floor. Okay. Take you out, mister. Loving the double Hemolacria shots. They are precious to me. We got dessert here. I think we take dessert and then got a nice little respite there as well. And then, yeah, we come in here. We could get double too spooky, but I, I don't really see the benefit in double too spooky. I'll take one of them. Little bit risky on the the health that I took. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Eye of the Occult is really good with the setup. Let's keep her going. Definitely a little risky here, but we'll go for it. So this time, go straight and don't don't linger. Be careful about where we go. Definitely want that. Thank you. It still damaged me. Okay, one sec. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Let's let's give ourselves back our void. This has been a very console heavy run. Um, is it just called void? No. Wait, what? I gave myself more of the void. Didn't want that. What the hell's it called? Is it not called Void? Give... Void? C447. C447. Wait, no, not 477. There you go. Wait, what? Oh, that's removed. God damn it, I'm so stupid. We finally got it back. Okay, we don't have an active in it anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. This has just been really not, not over. I've been, I've been saying recently how my episodes have been just plagued and cursed with technical issues, and it just, it, it continues forward, doesn't it? It, it, it plays it forward. It really does. I don't know what is going on in my game right now, but I've been having a real hard time just having so many technical issues. That definitely helps me out quite a lot. Got my little ghosty buddy here. I like him. Nice. Crack, crack. Keep moving on. But yeah, the win streak is just trying to, to build one up. has just been going poorly recently. It's just been going really poorly. I can't tell you why or where my Isaac skill went. But honestly, it feels like since I came back from holiday, I've just been so much, like, so significantly worse at the game. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about it by this point. Let's just, let's just play the game. Let's just play the game and, and keep her going. Ooh, strange attractor. Ooh, Contraban. I've never done Contraban. Hmm. 
Hmm. See, now, now this is a reason to get rid of Void, right? I've never done contraband before. Basically, this is a package that we have to take to the next floor. I think if we get hit, we lose it. Or it gets damaged or something. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, Eye of the Occult. Plus, um... Hemolacria. Plus the, what's it called? Shot, um... Strange... Strange Attractor. I like that. I like that a lot. He's a full of maggots. Maggots, you here? A lot of other rooms back that way. I'm going to go check them out first. My health isn't all that bad now. But yeah, I ended up giving myself back Void and then getting rid of it straight away. But we haven't done Contraband yet. And honestly, Void's kind of one of those items that's a bit herky. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird one. I don't super care about it. Yeah, honestly, this combination's so good because we're able to have such fine control over our tiers, which I feel kind of means that we have really fine control of where we where we want the enemies to be. And then obviously uh, the damage plus Little Horn as well all kind of compile into some really interesting stuff going on here. Really interesting stuff indeed. One second. Okay, let's continue. Let's let's keep her going. I, I want to see what's down at this, this long room over here. But yeah, I have alerted the developer of the balance mod about the uh, the, the slight issue with timings in terms of the uh, active. And they agree. They said that it needs tweaking. So that's good to hear. It's always nice when a dev is uh, very communicative. Communicative, is that? That's not really the way to say that, is it? They're very communication-y. <laughs> but yeah, whatever we do, we do not take the contraband. We do not gulp down the contraband. Because it is, it is some wacky stuff. I'm not sure what it's meant to be, but it, it, it trips you out. I think it's just a, a bunch of tabs of acid. Because <laughs> it, it makes you go loopy. Real crazy. We've got that issue again where our flies are orbiting our familiars. Still don't really know what that's about. God damn, the damage we're outputting right now is pretty saucy. And that's just going to make it even more. Um, yes. I think Horror Babble on there is a very good idea. I like the speed, but the damage is even better. And we come and deliver our contraband. Hey there, shady fella. I got something for you. Oh, it just gives us two items. Okay, placenta is useful, although shouldn't have taken that to Horror Babylon. PhD is pretty good too. Both of which have um, resprites, which I quite like. Okay, what was that other card there? Well, just pop that now. That was a reverse star. Remove the oldest passive. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I know it'll remove Squeezy, but honestly, the most powerful thing about Squeezy is the um, is the Soul Hearts that you get from it. So I don't really mind losing a little bit of fire rate. I say a little bit. It'll end up being quite a lot. But for the potential of secret room items, I'm game. I love this setup. This is why I, I, I really don't understand it when people just trash on Stranger Tractor all the time. I realize that on some runs it's pretty bad, and I'm sure at least one time this run I'll get hurt by it, and someone will be like, <laughs> what, you, you see, you see, you see? But I actually think Stranger Tractor is pretty good. I, I think you can make it work, especially after the change in Repentance. A lot of people don't remember it was change in Repentance. It went, uh, it, it made it so that the further away the tier gets from you, the more, the more pull it has. Like, the stronger the force is, is the, um, that pulls it towards the tier. And I like that. Okay, you need to go... So, with the with the enemies that are um, being pulled around like this, I can just fire at them indefinitely until... Um, and, until my... Uh, what's it called? Little horn shot gets them. Uh, un unless it misses. Of course. Or I could just wait for them to pop their head up. That's also quite easy too. I just love the fact that I can stand all the way over here and demolish enemies. I don't like that ominous red shot there. It's scaring me. He's just standing there. Ominously. I don't think that's the exact line. It's the Spongebob line where Patrick's just looking at <laughs> Spongebob down the street. He's just standing there. It's not, I don't think it's ominously, is it? It might be ominously. 
I can't remember the word that he says now. It's funny though, either way. But yeah, we definitely need more luck. More luck would turn this run from an already good run into a very great run. Maybe we could get perfection. <laughs> I'm walking on sunshine. Right. We're prepared to lose some tears here. Ooh, what's this we got here? If you don't have any solo... Ah, that's unfortunately not really what we need right now. We'll do this. Okay. Samson's chain. Bit dog shit, but I'm going to take it anyways. I always take it because it is useful, but I don't particularly like it. And then forget me now is pretty good. Was it worth losing the tears up? Yes, the, yes the hell it was. If it took away the soul hearts, then hell no. But it didn't, so it was worth it. Yeah, the one thing for me, the problem with Samson's Chain, is I always forget that I have it and it causes issues. But it has many uses. Uh, mainly for me as like a, a blocker. Like you stand behind it to block tears. I think it's pretty useful for that. And also just generally destroying um, rocks here and there. Obviously pretty useful for that. Getting Liberty Cap randomly out of a mushroom. Pretty useful for that. Nice. Okay, let's go do our boss. Hope we get a devil deal so that we can get two devil deals back to back via um, via usage of our space bar. You see there though, like that time I walked into the room and automatically destroyed a mushroom that was next to the door. That could have hurt me. Tears up, there you go. We're back up to the tears we're at anyways. So I want to destroy all these mushrooms because pills are pretty good for us. We got PhD. But at the same time, with this item, it's kind of tricky to uh, to hit them without it buggering you up. Jack loves. Yep, like that look. So it's like, I don't really want to do this. I'm, I'm just not going to, because my health is pretty precious right now, I'll be honest. Oh, for goddamn copper bombs. Oh my god, copper bombs, why? Oh, you fuckers. And it's not even there anyways, you... Oh, fuck this boss. This boss should die really fast, though. Just, yeah, towards the end of the fight, this boss just becomes just just nonsense. You never really know what's happening. It's not a hard boss by any means. It's just like all over the place. Also, its health bar is like meaningless. It's so hard to tell what the fuck the health bar is talking about. Pentagram's fantastic. And then we'll do this floor again. We also have three second forget me now, so if you have an active, you can use forget me now and still pick it up, which is really nice. Oh damn, these guys kind of came out of nowhere then. Freeze maybe did a good job. Damn it, I didn't realize that um, my little horn shot wouldn't suck this guy up if his head's up. That's news to me. I was talking about that just a, just a minute ago, and you guys probably were like, fool, doesn't work. I didn't even know. Didn't even know. Hey. Because we've got PhD as well, we get the double payout, which is really nice. Or potential double payout, it's not always double payout. I might go with the battery guy if I get an active this floor. I'd just like to get more soul. I was just about to say, I'd just like to get more soul hearts, really. And the game's like, oh, just before you finish that sentence, here's a soul heart. We got a nice one of these, which I don't know what item this will end up being. Oh, gain increased, um, I think that's range and tears. Um, and look, while all red heart containers are filled. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually pretty good because if we go back and try and fill our red heart containers. We lose a good amount of damage on that, but the luck is what I'm really, uh, the luck is what I'm really counting on here. So we're gonna have to blow this up to try and get a red heart back. 
Oh, there's a sticky nickel there. I didn't even know about that. Um, I'll come back to you. I'll try and fill it later. Um, but... The increased luck is what 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 grasped me. I'm hoping it's at least two, but I'm I'm really hoping for three. I don't I doubt it'd be any more than three. Also, another thing with Samson's chain is it's so hard to like break rocks that are in front of you. Like I just want to break in here. And it's so difficult to do. Like I I can't be asked spending the time. I just wish it was a little easier to control. Like, I wish you could, like, do a little spin to kind of swing it around you. That would be really nice to, to, to make it, like, a little more, um, a little more usable and give, give it a little more range. So it can be used defensively as well. I think that'd be nice. Also, we can do this. I always forget you can do stuff like this. Booster pack. Hermit, I'm just going to pop. So, I think we just buy this. Which gives us... Oh, it's only plus one luck. Okay. That's not great, I'll be honest. It's it's okay, and the fact that... Wait. Oh, the fire rate is nuts. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. The, the luck is secondary. The fire rate is bonkers. That's giving us, like, plus one whole fire rate. Maybe even more. Shadow glass... Um, it's it's one of those items that it's I don't mind it, but it just you need a specific run for it, I think, and this isn't the run for it. Oops, key there. Try and do these other two rooms, cause why not? And then I'll go and play my um thingy. What's it called? Um, fortune telling machine just to see if I can get some extra soul hearts or maybe a better trinket. The trinket I've got right now is pretty good, but there's definitely better out there. But yeah, this fire rate is amazing. Bombs are key. That wouldn't do anything right now. <laughs> I love enemies that have really low mass. They're always quite funny with this. We just become like a tractor beam for them. You'll also catch me constantly bombing uh, Tinted Rock still, even though I don't need to anymore. Ooh, interesting. That didn't even lower my fire rate that much. That's bonkers. That's crazy. I was really expecting that to lower my fire rate by like half, and it didn't. Oh, bugger. I took a broken heart there. Let me just quickly go back and... Yeah, look, we go from... What's our fire, our fire rate by default? 0 0.62 is, is what it is here. Uh, can I not get any of these hearts? Didn't mean to take that broken heart. The broken hearts are a bit bollocks anyways, in my opinion. They are what they are. But I can disable them if I, if I feel like it, to be honest. And I probably will. In fact, let's do that now. Uh, but... Uh, it's in this one? No, it's not in this one. It's in this one. And then we go... Repentance Plus. Unlocks. And I'm not sure which one it's tied to. I think the Tainted Lazarus one we don't want unlocked. Enigma Heart locked. Because that one I don't like. It just gives you an extra life. And then the other one... I don't know where the other one sits. Tainted Jacob? It's not Deserter. It's called Broken Heart. Maybe it's Isaac? Broken Heart. There you go. Broken Heart set to locked. Just because I don't like either of those two. The rest of them I think are fantastic, but those two I have I take issue with, so I'm just gonna disable them. But yeah, let's play the hell out of this machine. Get some cards here. Some soul hearts. Fill up that. 1.35 fire rate bonus. That's nutty. Right, keep playing this. I don't really care about how much money I'm putting into this. I just want a better trinket. Awesome soul hearts. Okay, now we go. Yeah, I like this a lot.
The HP up. I mean, that's good, but I don't have the HP to fill it right now, so I'm not going to use it. But let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skadoodle. So far, quite a good run. Inner Eye would have been a killer for us, which because I, I still would have taken it, but it would have killed that fire rate if I didn't have this, this blessing, curse thing, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to increase our damage by a lot, as you can clearly see. And our pull, our magnetic pull, is going to be a lot stronger also. Do you know what's a really good mod that I haven't really used before up until recently? The mod that makes the pedestals disappear when you touch them. Also the mod that makes pedestals look different. Both of those are really good. Also, yeah, I've got three curses this floor and I'm not quite sure why. I'll crack all of these up and why not? And we get some luck as well, nice. And all the curses do seem to be active as well. Oh god, this guy's kind of hard to hit. We got him eventually. Got a lot of tier height going on for us right now. Champion hand there. And a spike chest, hell no. Maybe that's just like an unlucky thing you can get where there's all three curses active, but I've not seen that before. Ooh, this guy's... I'm having kind of a hard time hitting certain enemies, you know. My tier height seems to be kind of crazy right now. Beautiful. Don't step to me, or I'll destroy you for HP. Yeah, because we've got the, the regaining stones one, the one that turns enemies into champions, and the one where they rebirth. All on at once, which is deadly as shit. That is quite the uh, the gruesome combo. Makes her a challenging fly. I don't know if that's an item that I've got, or if that's a bug, or if that's just something that can happen some, from time to time. I'm having a feeling it's it's potentially a glitch with the blessings item. Also, are my flies circling me? Nope. They are again circling my Samson's chain. I don't know what's causing that. It's very strange. I don't mind it. It doesn't really bother me what they follow. Makes it sound like I'm talking about sort of like a, a religious thing. But it is just weird, isn't it? Eternal heart from that guy. Very nice. And the shop gives us King Baby, which I'll take, because why not? Wait, what? Did I not have enough money when I... I thought I had 24 cents when I entered this room. Something to do with my curses? Definitely had more money when I entered that room, didn't I? It's not just me being crazy, is it? Hmm. <laughs> There's some strange going on in Isaac at the moment. Oh god. Is everything dead? No? You you've you've respawned. You've rebirthed anew. We need a good active as well. We've not really gotten a good active since early on in this game. I keep thinking that we're Maggie now that we've got Maggie's hair as well, which I don't even know where we got that from, to be honest. I'm guessing that's from the uh, from the curse thing. Oh lordy lordy, that's uh, that's really tipped this uh, tipped this one over the scales. This has holy. Wasn't expecting to see something like that. I'll be honest. Oh, spike rock! God damn it! Just destroy the rocks. Don't regain the rocks. Just, oh my god, destroy the rocks. Stop regaining the rock. I just want the fucking pill. Thank you. It was a balls of steel. It was all worth the effort.
Okay. I think we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna destroy the rest of this run. We're on 28 minutes on this floor. This has been a slow run. A rather slow run. Oh, I, this room's over. I didn't realize. What little ghosties do we have here? Just getting the way ghosties by the look of it. Ooh, this boss is always a little tricky for me. Walk right into him there, but it's in the kit. It's in the the name of getting that the hell out of the way. That key's gone. I'm never gonna see that again. Interesting that it builds in the key things to, to add, like, extra obstacles. I like that. Um, I think Lord of the Pit is pretty decent here. Honestly, I, I think that's pretty good too. We got Leviathan out of that. We need to make sure we've always got at least one filled red heart to make sure we've got our um, thing active so we get the fire rate bonuses. Otherwise, we're going to be having a little hard time. It's kind of funny that I got Leviathan that gives me flight from getting flight. Also, our speed is looking very nice now. Crane game for clear rune. I would like that. Especially considering it gives you a rune on first pickup. I will try my best to get that. Not through that, though. I will try my best to come back and get that. If I can actually keep my money this time around, which was an odyssey last time. But we'll see if that happens again, I guess. I love having high speed. Just makes the runs feel correct. Especially on a powerful run. Like, the worst thing is having an overpowered run that has low speed. It's very rare that it happens, because usually when you have an overpowered run, um, it comes with getting a good few speed upgrades. But there's a, there's a few times here and there where they don't come one and the same. And it kind of causes issues. It makes you feel really sluggish, even though you're killing things at the speed of light. We are destroying these flaws at the minute. I don't know how good Herming's being for us right now, but I, I tend to just fire in one direction and everything dies. So I'm going to say pretty good. Oh, wait. Was that a Azerite stone? It was. Okay. Um, let's drop our trinket and try and get something a little better then, shall we? Eh, it spins down into piercing. It's not really that good. We'll see if we find anything else that we can use with it. Calm down, Mr. Boy. I like um, the item that we just got. What's it called? Vasculitis? I quite like Vasculitis. Just giving that a little burn of shots when you, uh, when you kill an enemy. It's nice. It's quite nice. I quite like it. Oh, hello. You died rather quick there, sir. Invoke the D7 effect. Why not? Why not invoke the D7 effect? Do this room again. Get over here, boy. I like the fact that they added the uh, underground tracking to enemies like that. That was always a problem I had. I mean, there was a mod that fixed it, but the mod was a little unstable sometimes. Plus three range. Now, where does that come under the... Uh... It'll probably be another worm, right? It's rainbow worm? Yeah, I'll take rainbow worm. That's kind of fun. With this setup, I think that we can... We can take on Rainbow Worm without it slowing us down too much. It'll add a bit of fun to the run, why not? I don't know which worm is going to be the wackiest. Probably a Roboros, as it always is. I do wonder if any of the worm trinkets have been added by various mods, because I know there's a few here and there. I wonder if they have been added to the Rainbow Worm roster. I don't know if that's plausible, but that'd be cool. Okay, you're going down. I wonder if we'll make boss rush. We've not even made hush. Never mind boss rush. And I think we're going to go for... Where are we going for? Dark path. Nice. Good, good, good. I'm just letting Priyan know about the three curses thing. Because, um, yeah, it's happening fairly often. I've seen it a few times now in testing. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. It might just be an update that he did. 
I just want to let them know, just, just in case it's not intentional, because Brian's pretty darn good about making sure their mod is, is constantly being updated and fixed. I've seen a few people out there saying that the collection collection mods are, like, laggy, or they're, like, broken, or, like, they, they, they don't get patched, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Some of the collection collections have over a hundred updates. They're maintained so well. And to be honest, at least for me, I've not noticed them causing any specific bugs or even lag, really. See, one thing that is slightly concerning about Vasculitis is with Fiend Folio, and just generally when we're playing this game like it is, there's a lot of enemies that I, I haven't seen before or haven't seen many times, which means that when they drop these red tiers, sometimes I'm like, are they mine? Which is people's main problem with the item, I, I granted. But like, normally once you know the enemies, it doesn't really matter anymore. But with Vasculitis, I'm kind of like, I don't actually know these enemies anymore, so it becomes much more of an issue. We'll take Soul of Cain here. We just want an area for Soul of Cain. We just want an area that we can open up at least two red doors, if not three. We can also just keep it on hand to use as a secret room finder. Something that I usually like to do with it. Right. Ooh, I, look, I like this boss. This boss is really cool. We're going to just demolish him, but... A, pr a pretty tough boss, to be honest. But when you've got this much damage, don't matter how tough anything is, it's going down. I love the noises it makes too, it sounds so aggressive. Bit more fire rate there. No! Oh wait, no, it's cool. There's red hearts there. I was a little scared then. Damocles, you say. Hmm, this late into the game, is Damocles really something I want to risk? Yes, of course it is. So, I'm not going to pop it until my next item is likely to spawn. There's no point popping it now, because that's something that I used to do. I used to just pick it up and pop it straight away. There's absolutely no point in me popping it until there is an actually, like, good reason to use it. Which, for now, isn't for a little bit. Like, we still, like, we've got basically the rest of this floor and pretty much the rest of the cathedral cathedral before we get an item. We might as well just pop it once we get to the last floor. Which is kind of a bit of a waste. In fact, in fact, it might have been a bit of a fool's purchase because we're not going to the cathedral. So we won't spawn double items at all, I don't think. Ooh, that took us quite far away from the uh, thingy. But luckily this game was kind enough to respond with a fool card. We can go back and easily pick that up again. Yeah, so I'd, I, I might have actually taken Damocles, and it, it might not be of any use to us, which is weird. Solar cane in here. There's, there's a good chance that I don't find any new items. This, however, I think will work. It didn't work. I just used it for nothing. Okay. Okay, that's that's a little scary. Now I've just got to try and not get hit for a while. More tears up. Thank you. Yeah, now I've got to try and not get hit for a while. Because uh, I thought what that would do is it would spawn the familiar that I, that I purchased. Oh, I got hit. Fucking hell. Spawn the familiar that I purchased, but it would also spawn an item with it. And I thought I'd be able to do that multiple times if I got enough money. Turns out that's not really how it works for some reason. Now we're all, well, now we're in the game of move as fast as we fucking can to the end of the floor. How did I get hit again? But I don't think we should get killed by it, I'll be honest. I think we've got plenty of time. To, uh, like, normally Damocles takes around seven or eight minutes to kill you on average. Maybe even a little longer than that. It might be, it might be closer to, like, 12, 13. Um, so I think we've got plenty of time to finish the run. Obviously, you can get unlucky with Damocles. It can trigger just any time. But it's, it's very unlikely to trigger early. I've never had a Damocles that's triggered in, like, a minute. I think my earliest one was it, it triggered at, like, six minutes into the run. 
Nah, it would have been longer than that. It would have been about 10 minutes in, actually, thinking about it. See, now I could go back and spend all this on some more familiars, but do I want to risk the time? Hello, Loki. How are you this fine day? I love it when she doesn't spawn the eyes straight away. It's so useful. Dark path we go. Speed on through. Hope Damocles gives us something throughout the, the way just to make me feel a little better about my mistakes. If it kills me, I'm going to be really upset because I have no, absolutely no reason to take it, to be honest. Take, take the path that looks like it's the longest. Unfortunately, this was incorrect this time around. That was a spiked chest. Did not realize that there. Hey, now that is a very good grab there of Damocles. That's a lot of extra damage. Wasn't expecting that. Not that I need the extra damage, but killing fast is always nice. We are destroying. Oh, it's the mama, mama woman that everyone's been drawing fan out of recently. Damn it, a little bit early on that. Don't really need the bomb anymore, though, because it doesn't spawn with explosive, fellas. And obviously, look at that damage. Go, Gertie, go! It's been a fun run, though. A really fun run. Regardless of how it ends up ending. I love how weak the feet are. <laughs> they go down so fast on most runs. Anyways, let's check our devil deals. Just remember... Keep at least one red heart. We can only really spend one red heart here. If we'd like to. One second. Oh, bollocks. I've just got back. And I've just realized that um, I've, I've not paused the game. <laughs> so I've been sat here the whole time letting Damocles time build up. That's not great. <laughs> you cock. You idiot. You fool. I went down to pick up a package. And I've been gone like three minutes, four minutes, and I didn't pause the game. <laughs> oh, so the time has just been counting down the entire time I've been getting that package. Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, that was funny, but just so stupid. God damn. <laughs> God damn, that is a skill issue. God diggity damn. Well, the win streak's going well. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What terrible timing. I got back and I was just like, oh no, I'm going to be dead, aren't I? I forgot to pause. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I can play. And yeah. It falls to me as I'm talking about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.